Richard held his eight-year-old daughter in his armor, gently washing her small body. You left too soon. How can I live without you? Please answer me, sweetheart, he cried out. But there was only silence. As Richard poured water over her hair, he suddenly noticed something that made him freeze in place. It was so terrifying that he nearly collapsed to the ground. It was midnight, and the only light in Richard's bedroom came from the faint glow of a bedside lamp. The room held a subtle scent of green tea, which the couple had shared before bed. Richard often struggled to sleep after drinking tea, but as a devoted husband, he couldn't refuse his pregnant wife, Alice, when she suggested they drink it together. After finishing their tea, they both climbed into bed. Alice drifted off almost instantly, while Richard lay awake, tossing and turning for hours. Finally, after about three hours, he began to feel drowsy. But just as he was about to fall asleep, he heard faint whimpering. At first, he thought it was his imagination, but when Alice clutched his hand, he realized she was crying again, so he turned towards her. Did you have that bad dream again? Richard whispered gently. Yes, I'm going to die. I won't be able to raise our daughter. I saw it in my dream, Alice sobbed. It was just a dream. Nothing bad is going to happen to you. I promise Richard reassured her softly. Then why do I have this dream every single night? It feels so real, Alice cried harder, her voice breaking with fear. Then she took Richard's hand and asked him to promise her that he would protect their unborn daughter at all costs. But Richard told her to stop saying nonsense. I promise you that we will take care of her together, he said, and wrapped his arms around her. A few minutes later, he heard her sniffle softly, and a smile played on his lips. Richard felt so lucky, because he was married to the woman of his dreams. The couple went through a lot, but their love only became stronger. They married at the age of 20, and had to wait 10 years before Alice became pregnant. The pregnancy proceeded without complications, and when about three months remained until the term, the couple began to make the necessary preparations. They lived in a small village where everyone knew each other and were always ready to help, so the neighbors also brought children's things. Unfortunately, about seven weeks before her due date, Alice's water suddenly broke and she was rushed to the local maternity hospital. She went into prolonged labor, and to make matters worse, her blood pressure immediately rose. While on the delivery bed, Alice screamed, it's happening again. Just like I saw it in my dream. Everything is happening. The nurse tried to calm her down, but Alice continued to choke, worsening her condition. Nurses soon discovered that she was having a difficult labor, and although they managed to get the baby out safely, they were unable to save Alice, who suddenly suffered cardiac arrest a few hours after giving birth to her daughter. Words cannot describe how Richard felt when he learned of his wife's death, and he promised to do everything to protect their daughter, Sarah as his wife wanted. If only he knew that in eight years he would be planning the funeral of his beloved daughter. What happened to the little girl? Keep watching to find out. When Emma learned of her daughter's death, she decided to move into Richard's house so she could take care of her granddaughter. Emma herself was a widow, and since her husband died, she had mostly stayed at home. Therefore, moving to Richard's house and taking care of her granddaughter will brighten up her boring life and make her forget a little about the pain of losing her daughter. As a child, Sarah was the spitting image of her late mother. Like Alice, she loved art and flowers. She often asked her father to buy flowers for her, and when she was three years old, she and her grandmother planted some flowers in the front yard. Sarah was a calm, easygoing, and obedient girl, but one day she scared her father and grandmother. Usually the family had dinner around six in the evening, and after preparing the food, Emma would go to Richard and Sarah's room to ask them to come to the dining room. But that day when she came to her granddaughter's room, it was empty. Richard and Emma ran out of the house and began looking for the girl. But when they were already approaching the outskirts of the village, they saw Sarah, who was already six years old, running towards them and holding wildflowers in her hands. The girl looked so happy and proud of herself and showed her dad and grandmother the flowers that she had picked in the nearby forest. Richard and Emma were glad she was safe, but wanted her to never go there alone again. But Sarah didn't listen to them. The next day she went again into the forest and returned with fresh fruits and flowers. Emma made it a point to always go with her, and this continued for some time. But when Sarah turned eight years old and Emma turned 70, the elderly woman no longer had the strength to walk with her into the forest. However, whenever Sarah did not return home for too long, the grandmother would still go to the outskirts of the village and call her. As soon as Sarah heard her grandmother's call, she dropped everything she was doing and hurried to her. And so it went on, 
But one day something tragic happened. That day Emma felt uneasy and her instincts told her that something was wrong. And although Sarah was gone for only 15 minutes, Emma rushed to the outskirts of the village and began calling her granddaughter at the top of her voice. A few minutes later, Sarah emerged from the forest, but Emma immediately noticed that something was wrong. The girl looked so pale and there were no flowers in her hands. As Emma was about to ask if she was okay, Sarah grabbed her stomach and suddenly fell. Filled with horror, Emma screamed at the top of her voice, calling for help. A few minutes later, villagers came to help and Sarah was rushed to a medical center, where unfortunately she was pronounced dead. Sarah was taken home and her family began to prepare for her burial. Richard, who had only tears in his eyes, decided that before the funeral he would wash his daughter's body. As he washed her body, she looked so calm and peaceful that Richard was forced to imagine the moments leading up to her death. Was she scared? Did she say, Dad, help me? Was she hurt? He asked himself questions. And then he noticed something in the corners of her mouth that made him freeze. It looked like a blade of grass. With trembling hands, Richard slowly opened his daughter's mouth, and what he saw made him scream. He saw a mixture of herbs wrapped in a tiny piece of clothing. No one present at the funeral had ever seen such clothing. Richard ran out of the house and began asking everyone if they knew where these clothes came from. Luckily, someone told him that there was a traditional healer in the forest who had been seen wearing exactly the same clothes. Richard hurried home to his daughter, and the villagers, who were not averse to helping, went in search of a traditional healer. It turned out that this man was a fugitive who collected rare herbs and sold them illegally. As it turned out, one day he saw Sarah walking through the forest and immediately came up with an insidious plan that was supposed to bring him more money. To begin with, he gained the girl's trust. So whenever she came to the forest, he treated her to fresh fruits and flowers. And so on that day, when Sarah fainted, he gave her the herbs that her father found in her mouth. These herbs sent Sarah into a deep sleep. Thus the healer could quickly sell it to a family that could not give birth to a child and earn a lot of money from this. However, Emma foiled his plans when she rushed into the forest earlier than usual and called for Sarah. After a thorough chase, the police eventually found the healer and put him behind bars. So what happened to Sarah? Fortunately for the girl, Richard recognized sleepy herbs in his daughter's mouth, took her to the room, covered her with a blanket, and after about eight hours the girl naturally woke up. From that day on, Richard and Emma tried to never let Sarah out of their sight. Richard was also glad that he had kept his promise to his late wife to protect their daughter. Dear viewers, what do you think Richard felt when he learned about his daughter's death? Tell us about it in the comments. And if you like this video, then like and subscribe to our channel. Goodbye.